Thing one tonight, GOP Congressman Chris Collins reversed himself this weekend, announcing that actually he will not seek re-election after federal prosecutors accused him of committing insider trading while at the White House picnic. Collins denies any wrongdoing. Collins was the first member of Congress to endorse Donald Trump for president, and now an arguably even bigger Trump fan has entered the race to replace him. Many people first met him back in 2010 when he ran for New York governor, debating both this guy, the rent is too damn high guy, and the Manhattan madam, Kristen Davis, among many, many others. But now he wants to leverage his relationship with Trump for a seat in Congress. I want the 27th district to benefit from my, my access, my relationship with the president of the United States. The return of Buffalo, New York's own mini Trump, Carl Palladino, is thing two in 60 seconds. So Carl Palladino has jumped into the race to replace fellow Republican Chris Collins in Congress after Collins announced he won't run for re-election while facing insider trading charges. Palladino was the New York co-chair of Donald Trump's presidential campaign, despite a history of scandal. When he was running for governor in 2010, a trove of Palladino's emails featured racism, bestiality, and pornography. One video Palladino sent around entitled Obama Inauguration Rehearsal showed an African tribesman dancing. And it somehow gets worse. Asked his hopes for 2017, Palladino said he wanted Barack Obama to die of mad cow disease and that Michelle Obama should return to a cave in Zimbabwe, among other awful things. Back when he was running for governor in 2010, Palladino got in a memorial confrontation with a New York Post reporter. Oh, you send another enough. goon to my daughter's house up. and I'll take you out, buddy. You're going to take me out? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Watch. Watch. What are you, threatening me? Hey. Palladino was crushed in that governor's race, losing to Andrew Cuomo by 30 points. In his concession speech, he made a promise that despite all the scandal is now coming true in the era of Trump. Make no mistake, you have not heard the last of Carl Palladino. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.